Hi, everyone. And this is the Multifamily Foundation. And this is Peely. Jason is actually out taking a look at properties right now. So I am here in my dining room studio. And I am here to talk to you about time management in regards to mentorship and masterminds. There are a plethora of coaches and mentors out there. There are, oh my goodness, I feel like there's another mastermind popping up every single, every single time I look on Facebook. And I think it's fantastic. I think it's amazing that everyone wants to have their voice heard. They want to give value to this amazing asset class. I can't be more thrilled that this is growing and becoming such an amazing, amazing world to be in. I can't tell you how many fantastic people I have met because Jason and I started in this asset class. We are so grateful and we are so thankful for that. But back to, before I go on a gratefulness and thankfulness tangent, back to what I wanted to talk to, talk to you about. So time management in regards to mentorship. We'll get to masterminds in a bit. So in regards to mentorship, like I said, there are a plethora of coaches, a plethora of mentors out there. You need to figure out what you absolutely need, especially if you're going to pay for it. And when it comes to mentors, it could be anywhere from a few thousand to 25,000, 50,000. I've seen astronomical numbers. And for the most part, these mentors, I would say that they're worth it. The ones that I have come in contact with. But if you are going to pay those numbers, you must must make sure that these are the people that you want to listen to and you are going to follow to the T exactly what they tell you to do because you've paid for it. You've paid for their expertise. You've paid for their knowledge and the time that they have spent in this asset class. So you better be using it and use it to the T. Ask them questions before before you sign that check away, give them your credit card. Make sure that you have access, ultimate access to the mentor. And, when I, and this is like capital T-H-E, shouty caps, the mentor. Not their, not their other mentors, not the coaches that they have, but to the mentor because if you're going to be learning you want you want to be learning from the best and the best is the person that put the thing together so you want to ask them questions ask them how they can help you have them go through what you've already done and figure out a system to where you can scale where, to where you can up level your life by using their knowledge a good mentor will give you the steps that you need to take the leaps and bounds they weren't able to back when they started. So ask the good questions. And by all means, please, 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 when you jump on with a mentor, use them. They want to be of use to you. They want to serve you and your cause. They want to make sure that you are successful, that you take the next step. Because if they're not, if they don't want to be of use and they, they don't want to see you succeed, then they're not the right person for you. They shouldn't be mentors. A good mentor wants to see the people that they bring into their world succeed. So don't forget to ask the questions and don't forget to get a plan of action masterminds. Let's jump to, over to masterminds. So masterminds, wow. There are so many masterminds now, whether or not it's in multifamily, flipping, wholesaling. I like, I, every time I turn around, there's a conference or a mastermind happening. And again, I think it's fantastic, mind-blowing, but fantastic because there's so many people out there 
wanting to add value, wanting to get their voice heard, wanting to let people know what an amazing asset class this is. But masterminds can also be a time suck. You have to watch out. Because I find, and I had to stop myself, I would go down this rabbit hole of posts and comments and you know seeing what all my all my all my people were up to because I was a part of too many things too many things on Facebook I Instagram LinkedIn I don't know some of you might be on TikTok that might be a little young anyway <laughs> you know you get it it's a rabbit hole stop yourself from going down that rabbit hole you need to time block those times that you're going to be on these masterminds, that you're going to be on Facebook doing, quote, work, because that's what you're doing. You're going into these masterminds to learn and to socialize, yes, to network with other people in this industry, but don't get stuck in it. So masterminding. I think it's fantastic. You need to be talking to your peers on a regular basis. Paid masterminds. These are a whole different animal. If you are going to pay for a mastermind, there are a couple questions that I insist you ask. Who else is in the mastermind? Can I talk to them? If the person putting together the mastermind says, I can't give you that information or, you know, worse, I don't know yet, then I would take a serious step back and say, you know what, maybe this is not for me right now, but maybe in the future when you're built out. Um, another question to ask is what kind of value are you going to be and time are you going to be expecting me to put in? Because a mastermind, it's a give and take, an ask and a give. You ask of people, but then you have to give back. That's the thing about a mastermind. If people put in questions, you should be going in there and answering questions to your greatest degree. So if you are like in the top, I don't know, 10% of the people that are in that mastermind, you know, you can and you will learn. But would you learn more from a mastermind where you're in like the bottom 20%? where you're not the smartest person in the room or in a mastermind that you are basically the smartest, most knowledgeable person in the room. You know, it's a give and take. So if you are the most knowledgeable person in the room and you're paying for this mastermind, you need to be getting some sort of value in return and you need to find out what kind of, what that value is. It could be, you know, it could be a plethora of things. So two questions, ask them who else is in the mastermind because the mastermind is all about the group, not only about the person putting the group together. And yes, that person has to be key, has to be somebody that you can learn from because you are ultimately paying that person. And the next thing is how much time are you going to be expected to put into it? And how much time are you willing to put into it because I don't join masterminds anymore unless I know I'm going to be putting in the time because I'm tired of saying, of apologizing to people whose masterminds I join and I, I don't do anything in them because I just don't have the time. And you shouldn't be apologizing. See, that's the thing. I shouldn't be apologizing because we're all busy people. We're all busy people. It's just on us to make sure we know the value of our time. And if your time is that valuable and they're asking you to pay them to mastermind with them, and then on top of that, give up your time, it better be the best, most worth it mastermind that you have ever and will ever join in this time period of your life. And if it's not, and step away. So I hope you got a ton of value from this podcast. And if you did, please, 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 please <laughs> go to our 
go to our um, Instagram, Facebook, look us up, let us know how we're doing, how we can help you, ask us questions, anything. Let me know what I can do to best serve you. I'll talk to you later. Bye now.